on guys and welcome back to the channel my name is Barry Witness and today we're gonna be talking about something that's been weighing heavy on me lately I, I put up a poll on Twitter and I've been asking people I've tried to I've gone into multiple like uh, lobbies like with randoms and just asked them and talk to the community itself and Fortnite is getting boring now I know people are gonna hate on me for that <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me when I say that so let me get the Positive side out of the way first Now the game itself has done amazing things it has opened people's eyes to battle royale games as a whole Made it affordable so everybody can play it made it It's just it's it's a good game. I like I like the game, but we're not gonna lie to ourselves here and say that there hasn't been a lot of serious problematic changes now the latest update is just kind of like the tip of the iceberg but let's say season three was an okay season season two was probably an even better season in my opinion even though i only played like the last half of season two because i had taken a break but season two was probably when the game was the most fun because they didn't add a, they didn't add a lot of crazy stuff and it was just kind of the bare bones game and it was really fun because it was the beginning of a great experience. But now they've added so many things. I, season 4 has been, if nothing else, the season that they chose to add a lot of things in to the game. Instead of really focusing on core issues. Like, we've been complaining. I don't know about everybody itself. But a lot of the community, if you check over on Twitter, if you look it up, there's been a lot of people complaining about how shotguns are inconsistent. And now, I think the initial shotgun nerf recently kind of made the shotguns more consistent, but they do less damage. Nobody asked the shotguns to do less damage. They just didn't want the shotguns to do six damage or eight damage, and that was kind of the problem. And now they're trying to fix that problem by nerfing our headshot damage, so now we can't even get one pumps off. I don't know about you guys, but like in third-person games, take Gears of War, for instance. I've been playing a lot of that lately in my spare time, and that's just... It, it itself has a lot of shotguns. Third person video games lean heavy on shotguns because it's just, it, it, it works. That's I, I don't know how to explain it. But every third person video game I've pretty much played, uh, aside from, you know, games like, um, you know, Infamous, you know, God of War, all those games. But shooter third person games, they always... They, they always had shotguns. Like, shotguns are a big staple in those because that's how you deal with close quarter engagement. It is very hard for you to aim in, aim down sights with uh, an assault rifle and cause, because you basically stop moving at that point. You stop moving. You're at a stale point. You might be able to move your feet a little bit, but you're not moving as fast as anybody else that's not using it. So instead of spamming bullets for hit firing, you use a shotgun because it's you deal and dispatch your enemy quickly. Well... For you to say that people are overusing the shotguns in a third-person game and you want to give people more variety, what are they supposed to do when they get close to each other? Just spam bullets? Like, you're, you, the game was it rewarded people for good building and good shotgun skills. Like, that's what that's what it was. It, the game was about good building and shotgun skills. Or, it, that wasn't the core of it, but that was like a big staple of it. But now it's like... They want us to venture out into different weapons, and I don't feel like that's there's a place for that. I don't know. If you guys have a different opinion on that, make sure you guys leave it in the comment below. I really want to know. Start a conversation. But I feel like as if all of these changes, they're not core changes to the game that make the game more fun. Therefore, it's not the game is stale in a way. And it's like there's no new maps, and it is the same thing over and over and over again. Whether you lose or you win, there is no reward for winning. There's just a victory royale. You get nothing for getting a victory royale. You can, you, can, you can be one of those people that gets victory royales 15 times a day. You still get nothing for it. So, guys, this is where that's where I stand on it. There's no there's no reward. There's no anything. At least back in the day when you were playing Call of Duty, because that's what a lot of people are gonna bring. Oh, well, if you play Call of Duty, you don't, you know, it's the same maps so a lot of times, the same gunfights, it's all this, that, and the other. Well, at least in that, there was a prestige symbol. So, you, you got rewarded for your playtime. People knew you'd been playing a lot. People knew, like, your skill level. But there was, like, at least a badge of honor. There's nothing. Uh, you guys could say that the skins 
are a way to do that. But if you, the for one, the battle pass is ten dollars. Anybody with enough playtime can get any of the uh, of the stuff, and it has nothing to do with your actual skill level that you have the Omega skin or that you have the John Wick skins. There's tons of John Wicks that just suck. There's tons of Omegas right now that just suck. There's nothing that we could possibly do in that situation to fix that. But at the end of the day, there is no, like, there's no, what about cosmetics for people that get a ton of victory rounds? Like, you hit 250 wins, you get, like, a flaming skull or something. Like, there's no reward for winning these games, and that's why it kind of gets boring. There's no, there's no grinding, and plus they haven't made a new map. They All they did was, they started at Season 4, they said we were going to have a constantly evolving map, and what we ha what we ended up getting was a giant butthole in the middle of the map that still hasn't been covered up. So, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with that. They put some leaves on it and said, that well, that's what we're going to do. So, we still got a couple weeks to go. I'm interested in what it's going to turn into, but for right now, there has not been any real lasting changes in the map. And so, what we were told was that, there, that the map was going to constantly evolve and that that's how they were going to make up for not having a new map. And I don't think that that's what we got. We've also been getting pretty, like, dumb limited time modes, like the jump pack, the uh, limited time mode, the close encounters. That was pretty dumb. Everything else is pretty much standard, you know, blitz and everything else. You can't really be bad at those 50 to 50, 20 to 20. Um, but guys, I don't know, if you guys like this video, leave a like down below, and, and before I go, I don't want you guys to think I'm bashing Fortnite, because that's the last thing I would ever want to do, that game is awesome, it's, I've had a lot of fun with it, and it is by far, right now, in this current moment, probably the best Battle Royale game on the market, or that has ever been made, and to be honest, and you guys can shoot me for that one, but... Because I know there's some PUBG fanboys that are going to be like, Oh my god, you don't know what you're talking about. You're practically a child. But anyways, that's not relevant. What is relevant is the fact that we, as a community, deserve a little bit of them to take a second. Instead of adding something new, instead of adding new cosmetics and adding new skins, like, let's take a step back and focus on, like, the initial gameplay of the game. So maybe at least that keeps players there. Because... There's been a lot of lag issues. There's been a lot of inconsistencies with the weapons. And it's all kind of deterring people. You see it more and more on Twitter every day. People saying, you know, I can't even play this game. Or I don't even want to play this game right now because of this, that, and the other. I'm just saying, epic has got a lot to do in bringing their game back. Because it's it's there's there's like a red, a yellow, and a green area. And it was in the green, and then now it's veering to the yellow. So, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. Tell me your thoughts, because that's what I want to know. I don't want to know if I'm alone in this situation or if I'm not. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.